So I had a question recently about taking mass properties measurements uh, in an alternate axis, or uh, for instance, moment of inertia around another axis, a different axis, or uh, with relative to a, a different coordinate system. So I wanted to show how to do that using the measure command here. Um, this little assembly we're going to use is a little hydraulic motor. Uh, you can see the, the, the way this is put together here. You've got that uh, axis in the middle, obviously, and then axle in the middle, and then this red swash plate here that's driving these pistons, as you can see there, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the yellow part in the middle, uh, you can see, is inclined, of course, and it's got a cylindrical feature that comes down this direction here that we're going to uh, look at a little bit. But I'm going to use that part. It's got kind of a couple different orientations to it. We'll use that to, to look at mass properties from a couple different perspectives. Okay, so let's take that part right there and uh, look at that in window. Yep, we had that open up here. We're looking right now at the the absolute coordinate system, right? We can check that if we go to uh, format here and WCS. We've got orient and we can orient the work coordinate system, the WCS, to uh, any anywhere we want to, right? Lots of ways to align it here. But absolute CSIS is one of those here. So this, this absolute CSIS here, each part is going to have a, an absolute coordinate system. And, and that's permanent, right? That doesn't move. It, it's hence the word absolute. <laughs> um, but relative to that absolute coordinate system, um, we, can, we can move the work coordinate system or the WCS, right? And we can do this dynamically, right? We can move this around and, and put this wherever we want to have it. And uh, in earlier years with NX, people would use the WCS a lot, a lot more to do modeling kinds of tasks. Um, we don't use it as much nowadays because we use sketches and, and uh, datums and things like that a lot more. But, but we can use this here in the context of mass properties. This works really well. So for instance here, we could take the origin of this WCS and say we want to put this uh, origin, there we go, at say the center of that edge, or the center of so the center of that that top face right there, and maybe take the z axis and also make the z axis aligned with that. So the z is up right now. If we want to, we could even grab that and flip that. So z is going down the hole now, for instance. So we've got kind of a second coordinate system now in the part, right? I saved this white coordinate system at the absolute just for reference there, so you can see where that is. Um, but the absolute there is is the white one, the red, white, and blue, green one is the, uh, or the red, blue, and green one rather is the work coordinate system, right? And uh, and let's look at a couple things here with measure. So as we go into the measure command now, looking at an object here, uh, what I'm going to do is grab this body. Uh, quick pick tip, right? If you select something, you, you don't actually have to move the mouse up to the to the thing. You can use the mouse scroll wheel to just slide through the things that are in the list. So without moving the mouse up there at all, I'll roll down to the body. Uh, so right now we're, we're doing this measurement. Usually these are in the context of the absolute uh, coordinate system, right down here. Uh, and so for instance, if we look at the center of mass now for this guy, um, this, let's, uh, doo -doo, sorry, let's save the uh, center of mass point right here. And, um, and that's going to be, uh, let's do that and associative and let's say, okay, you see it's at negative, negative, negative here. Okay. So negative X, negative Y, negative Z. And if we create that point out there in space, you can, you can see that here, right? Uh, as we roll over this, the here, you can see that that CG point that, that's, that's uh, light color against the yellow. It's a little hard to see, but there we go. Get into the shadow. We can see a little better, but you can see that that's in negative X, negative Y and negative Z relative to the absolute coordinate system, the white coordinate system there, right? What we can do also here, you'll notice, is we can choose to take this measurement in the context of the, the work coordinate system instead, right? Now the work coordinate system is a, is a transient uh, object. It doesn't, it's not associative, right? This can move around very freely and doesn't participate in update at all. And, and so, uh, so we're not going to save the measurements that we take there but we can grab that body for instance again 
here's our original with the negative, negative, negative uh, out there. And if we change our reference coordinate system here to the work coordinate system, you'll notice now that the center of mass is now at 3 and 1 and 6, roughly. And that's corresponding to 3 and x, this x, 1 and this y, and, and 6 and this z. And now you can see it's actually positive with respect to all three of those, right? And so so that's, uh, that's interesting, right? So we can swap between those two coordinate systems there. And, uh, and as we do that, we can see the CG move. Of course, the moments of inertia are also updating here, right? In the, in the original, in the absolute, X is large. Uh, so MOI around X uh, is large, which, which makes sense. Uh, X is that axis, uh, X is that, that vertical axis that it's actually spinning around in, in real life. So the mass is out here distributed around X. The counterweight is out here on the perimeter of X, right? And then when we go to, uh, to this WCS, we see that Z is actually the large one in that one. And again, that's that center one, center axis coming down here. So again, the mass is distributed far away from that Z axis of rotation there as well, right? So, so that's a couple examples in the individual part. Um, this works in the assembly as well, right? So in this context here, uh, again, if we, oh, the W key also, just, just so you know, the W key will toggle on and off that work coordinate system display. A lot of times it's just off in parts because again we don't use it that much these days. But but if you want to use it, you can hit W and turn it on. Um, so this in this assembly here, for instance, if we do that same kind of measurement uh, in the context of of this assembly, we'll grab that same part and in this context here, um, we again we've got that same Z axis of rotation. So there's that 520 number again, uh, and X and Y now are huge, right? This 55 and 56. Because uh, yeah, relative to the the work, or sorry, the the that is WCS. Well, actually, they're the same right now, <laughs> right? Um, the 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 WCS is at the absolute right now, right? And so the the CGs are the same. The moments of inertia are the same here on this. Uh, these are huge because X and Y are located down here, way down here at the bottom. So this is swinging around X and swinging around Z, or swinging around X and Y uh, that far away. Um, so if we were to turn this WCS on, we can come down there. We can double click it here to edit if we want. We could bring this out uh, to a, another location out here just for fun. Uh, so let's put it out there and let's bring it up so it's roughly level with this guy. There we go. And uh, so what I'm what I'm looking for now is if we're spinning it around Y, we're spinning down this axis, the, the moment of inertia should be relatively small. Uh, if we're going here now around X or Z, X, or, X and Z should be quite large with it out here, right? Uh, the center of mass should be out there at a large positive Y and, uh, and, and basically, you know, close to zero in, in X and Z uh, out there as well, right? So let's try that. So we take that, let's grab that same part in there again. We'll grab that solid body, uh, that's that one that we're after. Uh, in absolute coordinates here, we're, again, we have our same numbers as before, right? These is not changing because that absolute is, is still down there at the bottom. But if we change this to the WCS, uh, center of mass, yeah, there's our large positive Y that we talked about, right? So that's that 255 there. And then the moment of inertia, again, Y is very small. If we're spinning it around Y, that's that's going to be relatively easy to do. And X and Z here are these 50,000s, right? That's if we're swinging it around X or swinging it around, around Z in this direction, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you want to take measurements around any, any other axis or any other coordinate system other than the absolute, you can do that using the WCS in the measure command. Just switch the reference CSIS here to, uh, to WCS, and you'll see those see those alternate answers. Okay. I hope that's useful.